Okay, so I took the case off the bottom. Just take a look in here, and I'm sure we've all seen this already. Uh, the Crowdy board is, uh, where you have to change it, is right there. Uh, that little board right there. So here's what I've done. Uh, one is I bought the Raspberry Pi camera, and this is a long cable, which I'm thinking about mounting. So I have the Raspberry Pi draw here. It's all steel, so I'm thinking about drilling some holes in here to open this up so I can get the cables out. And then I'll run power, well, run up, one, I'll run power this way and then out this notch in the front. Um, I'm thinking about hooking it directly up to this power here. I think I'm going to power it on and see what the voltage and amperage is here. So if I can tie off this for the Raspberry Pi, I will. Um, and then the camera cable, that ribbon cable, can come straight out of here, down through here, across the bridge here, and then up through the chassis of it right here, which is the same cables that basically drive the extruder. Um, so come up here, and then I'm doing a mount that's going to go here for the Raspberry Pi uh, camera. So that's what I'm thinking. So let me power this up and check what... Okay, so I use my little Dremel, get the notches started. Now I'm gonna use my big grinder, but a cut wheel to cut into that. Okay, I finished cutting it out with the big one, and then to protect it, I put, uh, even though I use a grinding stone on the edges to smooth them out, I also went ahead and put some uh, duct tape on there too, some white duct tape. And I wanted to make sure my draw fits comes right to the back right here. This is the draw right there, the open spot. And that's where the Raspberry Pi is gonna sit. The cables are coming out the back. All right, I'm gonna wire it up. Okay, so I've made the swap down here with the connector to the Raspberry Pi. And then I actually routed it all up through here and into the spin where it's gonna be. I've added these cable management, they're little uh, adhesive ones to help manage it. So this is for the power supply for the Raspberry Pi, and this is obviously to connect down to this board over here. And both connectors are sitting out here on the front right here, which I'm then gonna put in a drawer, and we should be all set. I'm gonna button it back up, put the Pi in, and we'll see what happens. Last thing I did is I actually ran the Raspberry Pi camera uh, cable, and I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna run it over this bar, even though it's gonna sit on it and tighten down. I'm thinking it'd be okay instead of running it down and around. Uh, we're gonna see. Um, we'll see how it pans out there. So, okay, I've hooked up the power on the Pi, the ribbon cable for the video, and then the connect. I'm about to put close the draw, sit it in there, and should be good to go.